Carrie's first year seemed pretty typical, but somewhere after her first birthday, we gradually noticed some changes. Carrie. She became fixated on kitchen utensils, and she was obsessed with strings. The doctor told us that she had autism, and he sent us home with not much of any guidance or recommendations for what to do to help her. I had a million and one questions. The first one, we always wonder why. Why us? Why her? Hi, Carrie. Here, let's hang up your coat. I wondered if there was anything that I might have done or not done to cause autism. How are you, sweet pea? Do you have a good day? The questions remained, and they, they lasted all the way up until recently when we participated in the SPARK study and got the genetic finding. I was shocked when I got the result that Carrie had a genetic change in CHD8. I really wasn't expecting it. It turned out to be such a relief. I no longer thought of Carrie as having autism. I began to think of her as having this genetic difference. And as a result of that, she had the features of autism. And that may sound like not a big deal or a subtle difference, but it's a huge difference. Spark discovered one small change in one of Carrie's genes. This one tiny change had enormous effects. Autism's one, but there's also stomach issues and sleep issues. The finding explains so much of what we struggle to understand. So much of our lives have been dedicated to helping Carrie. Getting a genetic diagnosis is another step in our journey. I'm looking forward to connecting with other families with the same diagnosis. I think we have a lot to learn from each other. I can't imagine a reason not to participate in the SPARK study. There's so much to be learned and nothing at all to lose.